Uh, tell you what, I don't know about you fellas at home, or even you ladies who do this sort of thing at home, but I, can, I cannot find the proper solution to my garage storage issue, but I may have found it today. Uh, David Jeffrey here from Monkey Bars. Fellas, how are you? Very well, good. Thanks for coming today. I know you're down at the Home and Design Show this weekend. Yes, we are. And a lot of people will be interested in this because this is uh, perfect no matter what size garage you have, right? Well, that's right. Yeah, the great thing about this is we can conform it to any size garage. Yeah. We have different shelves that are 24 inches or right. 16 inches that right. can fit just on any space. Let me show you what's going on here because this is the unit here, right? And the yes. shelving at the top. This That's is a, right. a wall that you built for demonstration purposes. Exactly. Uh, but this is the way it works. Now show me that picture, you guys, that you had there. To sh okay, so here's a normal garage setup, right? And I mean, exactly. there's all the stuff. You got some bikes and you got some tools and you got some equipment and you got these storage things here and you got them up there. And that represents about 36 feet of 36 uh, feet of storage unit. And you, took you took all of those things, right? Everything you see here exactly. is, is, is in here. Oh, right. this way. Exactly. Is yeah. in here. In, in, in 12 feet of space. In 12 feet of space. That's there's right. A, there's a How cool is that? Picture of it all neat and tidy. And it's so compact, but yet accessible. So from 36 right. feet down to 12 right. feet. Exactly. This, uh, the, the, this is the base unit, but it comes with all kinds. You can get all kinds of attachments and accessories, correct? Uh, that's right. We have 10 different hooks that can fit in. We have different accessories, specialty for yep. balls, bags. Yep. Uh, we have shelving as well. Right. All kinds of really neat things that can go in. These here are adjustable too. So let's say I wanted to put a bike up. We have a bike. Let's do it. What do you say? Okay, so you have another bar that goes across. You can get several bars if you want, correct? That's correct. There's right, a double button on, here that yeah, locks yeah. it in place. So it's locked into place. And this is all steel, you're saying? Solid steel, right. engineered. And the great thing about that is the unit itself will hold a thousand pounds. No kidding. Every four feet. These are some of the accessories, the different size hooks they and stuff you can get. Like this. What's that for? This is for skis. Oh. And it just goes on here like this. Oh, we're going to fill up where you got all kinds of stuff. And that's the, I love that, that it slides. Yeah, put, put that one on. Okay, so, and it's easy to put on. It just goes, you just get it around here, is that right? Cool. Oh, there we go. There you go. It's that simple. I thought it was more complicated. So the skis hang up there. Oh, yeah. God. Now. Your big push broom. Oh, well, and the great thing about this system is we take a look at being able to really use a lot of the space. Yeah. Traditional units use a lot of verta or horizontal uh, space in your garage. Right. So. Being able to condense that, that's what allows us to store more things yeah. in a smaller space. Well, and, and the bonus is, as we put another container up top, that's the bonus. Right? That is the, uh, well, actually, the bonus is down below. Yeah, it, well, sometimes this space is wasted, yeah. I think, at the tops of garages and stuff. Uh, very much. Yeah, because you can't reach up there and so on. If you have a shelf that's above head height, you're laughing, yeah. right? Because well, there's exactly. so much you can put in, into containers. Oh, I like that. All right, That's and again, nice. uh, the broom yeah. takes up very little horizontal yeah. space. Okay, let's put the bike up. Right. I want to see that too. There's, uh, in my case, there's lots of room for golf clubs on these things, right? Golf clubs, yeah, you I betcha. A, I got a couple of bikes I need to hang and get them off the floor. Just like that. And that's, that's the one thing. You're creating so much more space for yourself in your garage by getting things off the floor. Absolutely. It makes it easier to clean and maneuver around. Yeah. And the reason I say it fits uh, pretty well every garage I can think of because these are, how, how are they, four feet? Well, four feet? Uh, they're four foot sections, but you can keep adding on and we For can configure it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes we have to span a little bigger or a little smaller, depending upon size. From what I've heard, uh, most houses are held up by studs, you know, there's studs from what I've heard. You've actually designed these units to be installed with the stud line, right? Uh, that's right. They're bolted right into the stud yeah. um, by lag bolts, and that's what helps give the integral. Big lag bolts. Yeah, oh, yes, very big. So you don't have to worry about anything coming down? No, nope. the shear test that they did was probably about four times the weight capacity yeah. that it can hold. I want to show off your floor piece too here, fellas, mm -hmm. and, uh, and stuff like that, because you do floors of garage, like that's, this is really cool. What's it called? It's called polyurea 5500. So yeah. it's a, it goes down kind of like a paint. Yeah. It's two chemicals get that get mixed together after we grind down the cement floor right, right down to the aggregate. Okay. And then we apply the two chemicals with a pigment, pigment and then we roll it. And then we uh, throw on these paint chips. Yeah. And then once it dries, we roll it again with a top coat. 
and then it's hard as nails. It's not coming up. I know. I think it's going to come up, and but it's it not. doesn't absorb water. You can pour water on it. You can wash it out, and then so, water drains yeah, off. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And what's that? Oh, that was just a demonstration. That's an idea of the of, the, uh, of how it's installed. The uh, not the, not the floor, but the uh, right. So the this unit. this is your bolt here, right? Yeah. That's right. And this is would be your stud. That's yes. what we're talking about. That's right. And that's why it's so that's strong. That's solid. One right. of the reasons. So you're going to be down at the show this weekend. We are. Yeah. But People can have a look there. Look, and the, great, the best thing about this is touch it, feel it. As soon as you do that, you feel the strength of it. And you know, that's what sold me. Yeah, yeah. I like the whole idea. I like that you can get it in small enough sections. Like I told you guys, I only have a townhouse sized garage. Right. Yes. Single garage, they call it, yep. for you know the uh, smallest of cars. Um, but uh, you know, it's certainly good for storage space if if you get it going right. And this is a great idea. It certainly is. We typically will install these 90% of the time, 95% yeah. of the time we'll install them because it can get complicated, but we do have do-it-yourself kits yeah. that come in four-foot sections. We'll have some of those down at the trade right, show. Right, right. Um, Plus you'll see all the different attachments and so yeah, on that you can yeah. get, right? Exactly. Fellas, good work. Um, listen, I'll see you down at the show, but I hope you have a good time down there. And uh, listen, uh, you pretty well solved my uh, garage problems right there. The good storage problem is... Glad to hear it. Wow, it looks <laughs> great. It looks so Thanks, sir. Thank you good so luck, much. Good luck, Good luck. A couple of Ottawa guys with a great business idea. I mean, you can see it down at the, uh, the Home of Design show at the CD Center this weekend. Check it out.